Fit Out Fate channel, checking in. And things are getting a little bit freaky on this episode of Dad's Home Gym because I've got a two-part episode. First, I'm going to be reviewing this Bent Steel Barbell Company loading pin. And second, we're going to talk about how I hit legs here in my home gym. If this is your first time to the channel, you are in luck. The subscribe button is over there. Typically, I review a piece of home gym equipment on every episode to help you decide if it's right for your home gym and, hey, if it's right for your hard-earned money. Before I dive into how I hit legs in the home gym, I want to know from you what you were doing in your home gym to tackle those legs. Is it squats? Is it deadlifts? Or is it something I haven't even thought of yet? Please comment below. Now, Bent Steel Barbell Company is a small, independent, American-made company that creates really cool, one-of-a-kind um, home gym pieces. In, in a previous video, I actually reviewed their brass knuckle pull-down accessory. Um, this thing is so heavy. And I picked this up for $60 delivered here to Massachusetts. And this thing is awesome. So this is a loading pin. What many people would use this for is if they are setting up a pulley system, um, whether it's their garage, their home, their home gym, or to their rack, and they want to have a loading pin in order to load plates on to pull up, they would pick one of these bad boy monsters up because it is an absolute beast. As far as other uses for this, there are a lot of strong men and women out there that want to really test their grip strength or work on it, you can actually attach an, an individual handle to this clip and you can load this up with more weight than I care to imagine and just work on that grip strength. Now I picked this up for none of those reasons. I actually have a third use that I wanted to do with this and that pertains to hitting my legs. In a home gym environment, I happen to feel that hitting legs is extremely difficult because you don't have all those wonderful machines that you typically get at your local gym that really isolate your legs and really help you load up, put some serious weight on your legs to, for growth, but also help prevent a lot of those back issues that many of us face. And I am no exception to that rule. One of the best ways, obviously, to hit legs is to squat. You know that fun saying, squat to your heart. And that is so true. But unfortunately, I have um, a herniated disc. And every time I put a bar on my back with more than 135 pounds, boom, it is no, no, uh-uh. It is snap city. So I have kind of revamped how I hit legs here in the home gym and I wanted to discuss that and that's why this is a good segue for this Bent Steel Barbell Company loading pin. Ooh, yeah. Now just because I have an old man back and just because I'm working out in my home gym doesn't mean I actually skip leg day. No, no. Uh-uh. Friends don't let friends skip leg day. It just means that I need to kind of tackle this problem from a different angle. I'll figure out a different way to load up the weight on my legs to beat up my legs, but not beat up my back. And that's really what I have done. Uh, ideally, if you were at a local gym, I'd be able to do leg press and hack squats and a lot of other isolation, isolated movements that would allow me to load up those weights, put a ton of progressive overload on these, on these on these chicken legs of mine and not actually have it hit my back at all. Unfortunately, here we don't have those machines uh, accessible, but we're not going to make excuses. What I have been doing is trying to find ways to put a lot of strain on my legs, but not a lot of strain on my back. So one way that I have been able to mimic a squatting motion without having the bar on my back has been with goblet squats and with kettlebell front squats where the weight is more in the front of my chest rather than on my back. And it has allowed me to hit legs, make sure that I'm squatting to depth, if not a little bit lower, but not blow up my back. I've also been able to use a hex bar for a deadlift. Now I know people love their deadlifts, unfortunately, I am one of those people that just gets that rounded cat back as soon as the weight goes, gets high or as soon as I get tired. I personally find that that hex bar deadlift is just so beneficial on dumbing down the movement and just really putting the onus on my legs. I've been able to flip over my hex bar because it has two different height handles so that I actually have to get lower in order to drive up out of that hole. And that really is just all legs by using the lower handle has helped substantially. Another tack that I have taken with regards to trying to smash my legs into growth has been through a functional approach with regards to lunges, walking lunges, the lunges where you put your foot up on the back of something and you just do that one-legged front lunges. I know they got their own special name for it. And obviously box step-ups with dumbbells or weight. And then 
I picked up this bad boy. And the reason I picked up this bad boy was to connect these two and actually do what I would probably call, I'm sure there's a name for it, like a bastardized deadlift where if you can picture like a sumo squat where people are got their legs fairly wide and they are sinking super low and they are just driving right through their keister off the ground and trying to hit all of their their bum and their back of their legs and everything in between but without taxing their back to kingdom come and that's what i have done with this by setting up my plyo boxes and this with the handle as you'll see in the footage i can get some serious weight on here and i can get my body in a relatively comfortable position where i am just using all legs all up until the very end where it finally hits back but the amount of pressure on my back when i do these is minimal compared to the amount of weight i'm able to load on and in fact most of the back uh, effort or strain if there is any is on the negative where you're trying to control that negative and if i really wanted to go super heavy on this and not nearly um, have any concern about my back i would just do a controlled drop or a controlled release where I wasn't resisting the release, but I just wasn't letting it free fall. Um, and I have found these things to be absolutely, positively brutal on my legs. I mean, it is almost 99% legs. And compared to how much I'm lifting with my legs and the strain on my thighs, um, the amount of effort on my back is minimal. I've been super, super happy. If you are interested in a loading pin for your pulley system, if you are interested in a loading pin because you are a strong man or a woman and you want to work on that grip strength, or if you're like me and you've got that old dad back and you want to just smash legs without smashing your back, then head over to bentsteelbarbellco.com. Check them out. They actually make a whole lot more stuff than they have listed. They just You just got to put in a request of what you're looking for, and they can actually manufacture it for you because, hey, it's America. No excuses. Bootstrapping the whole way. They do a great job over there, and I've been really happy with the two products that I've gotten from them. Uh, if you came this far in the video, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. If you want to support the channel, use the Amazon affiliate link in the description below. Super, super simple. Click on the link, buy whatever you want at that small website, amazon.com. They take a little money out of Jeff Bezos's pocket and they put it right into mine. Simple as that. As usual, thank you for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. This channel is dedicated to my life as a father of two wonderful children and it centers around health, fitness, and all of the tricks and tribulations that I go through to try to be a great parent to my children and still accomplish my own personal goals.